Hi, it's Bill here. Real estate is an incredibly local matter. What your neighbor's property sold for, after adjustments for major property differences and the date of their sale, has the greatest impact on the value of your home. Sold prices on your street, or perhaps one street over, drive your property's value. Here we are living on our little island in the country, South Mississauga. Most of the real estate information you hear from the media is interesting, but in many ways irrelevant to you as an individual homeowner near the lake because it is too distant from your home. Having said this, we don't live in a vacuum and you must consider the value of your home within the overall context of the Canadian national real estate, economic and societal trends. With this in mind, let's start a brief update on the big real estate picture. After this, we'll zoom in on South Mississauga specifically. As you may be aware from media coverage last week, we at Royal LePage released our second quarter 2016 house price survey and market survey forecast with the theme being that cyclical cooling of Canada's hottest real estate markets that being the GTA in Vancouver, has been delayed yet again. At the same time, the Bank of Canada is expected to keep our historically low interest rates steady for longer in light of Brexit and global uncertainty. Canada's real estate market continued to post strong appreciation in Q2, posting the highest national year-over-year -year gain seen in five years Specifically, the average Canadian home increased by 9.2% year over year to $520,000. Looking ahead to the remainder of 2016 nationally, we forecast that the aggregate price of a home in Canada will increase 12.4% when compared to year end 2015. That's the highest increase since the turn of the century, I understand which will bring the median home price nationally up to $563,000. Looking a little closer to home, the GTA, it saw a notable year-over-year -year home price appreciation of 10.2% to a median price of $656,000. In our own backyard, the average home increased by 7% to a $583,000 median price. We don't even see uh, a mild correction for either the Toronto or super hot Vancouver markets for the balance of this year. By the end of this year, we anticipate a 14.9% increase over the year end 2015 in the GTA, bringing the median home price to $718,000. These numbers are historically huge. What's all this mean to you living in South Mississauga, you ask? Well, it's time to zero in on our home turf, which I define as Mississauga's waterfront communities of Port Credit, Lorne Park, Clarkson, Mineola, and Lakeview taken as a whole. The typical home in South Mississauga of all styles and types in June 2016 sold for a median of $835,000, ranging from $220,000 to $6.3 million. This is a whopping 28.9% over the same month in the prior year, primarily driven by condo apartments. 168 homes sold in the month, only up a tick from last year's 156. They sold for a median of 100, 100, sorry, 100% of their asking price ranging from 87% to 134%. It took a median of eight days to sell the homes, ranging from one to 99 days. Breaking this down by type of home in South Mississauga, if you can see this, wow. <laughs> we see that 46 detached two-story homes sold for a median of $1,318,000 in June, up 19.8% over the previous year. 28 detached bungalows sold for a median of 865,000, up 13.9%. 
the price of condominium apartments exploded to a median of $562,000, up an astonishing 49%, with 20 being sold. And lastly, 21 towns were sold in June for a median of $500,000, up 12.7% over the prior year. South Mississauga continues to be locked in a strong seller's market with insufficient listings of homes for sale of all types relative to demand. This is driving prices upward, multiple offers are common, and reasonably priced homes are selling within a week, typically. Sellers have the power and are in an enviable position. There's little doubt that their home will sell. The great challenge is to sell it for the most net dollars in their pocket, within their timeline, and with the least hassle, to take best advantage for them. Advanced internet marketing skills and superb negotiation skills are needed to leverage opportunities for sellers. Wise sellers engage the best high-performing listing realtor they can find demonstrating these skills, working with the local market leading brokerage to represent their best interests and to be in their court. Buyers are at a disadvantage, frankly. There are many buyers for few listings, triggering very stressful and potentially costly bidding wars. Most buyers are frustrated by multiple failed offers in South Mississauga as they unsuccessfully make lowball offers and then try to bid up. These traditional strategies are typically unwise in a seller's market, being more appropriate in the buyer's markets of long ago. Buyers who make the best and their best and final offer from the outset typically are much more successful and happier with the outcome. Access to pocket listings not yet on the MLS, speed to offer, willingness to make bully offers, and a superb negotiation skill set are needed to leverage opportunities for buyers. Savvy buyers will make a commitment from the start of their search to the best high-performing realtor they can find demonstrating these skills and who they trust, and one who is backed by the resources of the best market leading brokerage to represent their best interests and to be in their court. I hope that you have found this video both entertaining and insightful. Take a moment and click on my Google Plus button to see what my clients have to say about my results and value to them and why they have typically uh, honored me with consistent five out of five stars. If you would like to watch videos to learn tips and advice on buying and selling, take a moment and click on my YouTube channel. If you'd like to know more about me as a person and whether I'm the type of person you would enjoy working with, and to review the most appealing homes for sale in South Mississauga, check out my website at waternestseekers.ca. One more thing. If you have any and I mean any outstanding questions, or I can help you in any way, I invite you to call, text, video, or email me, whatever. Whether you're thinking about a move in two months or two years, I'm good with that. I, I and my team at Royal LePage in Clarkson Village are here, here to help you before, during, and long after any move you might make. My next few videos will zoom in on each of the five communities within South Mississauga, the market I choose to focus my business on. Stay tuned and watch for them, as they will be very insightful for you as an individual living there. I have over 30 years experience helping clients achieve their financial goals, including how to pay down their mortgages in an effective manner. With my advanced social media marketing, financial acumen, and experience in sales, I will keep your goals ahead of my own and walk in your shoes as we negotiate the selling and buying of your home to your best advantage. And I'm also backed by the strength and the ethics of the Canadian, and more importantly, South Mississauga market leader brokerage Royal LePage in Clarkson Village. Let's have a coffee together and see what makes sense. Bye for now.